topic in today's video i am going to discuss about some uh, conceptual or practical questions of html this questions are, uh, questions are mainly related to html codes The first uh, questions are write the HTML command for the following. Suppose this is the question HTML is easy to learn. Here you can see below the HTML one underline is there. This is formatting options in HTML. Through formatting tag we can add that we can put that underline. So to put this underline we will use U tag. So here it will be the command. While you are writing the sensor in your copy, you will write only this line U HTML U close is easy to learn. Here U stands for underlined. When you write something inside U, it will be automatically underlined. If you change this from U to B, then this HTML word will change to bold. Here I have changed B. Now reload the page. You can see it changed to bold. Now instead of B, if I write here I, let's see what happen. It will change to italics. So this way the it, uh, formatting tag of HTML work. Now question number two. Suppose uh, we have this question. First, I have to write the question here. Today is Tuesday so here asks uh, here is the question suppose in question it, it is this way today is Tuesday the Tuesday is uh, printed or written little bolder than the other then to make this Tuesday bolder than the rest of the word in a sentence you will use b tag, b -tag. So you will write the answer this way. Today is B opening, Tuesday and B take closing. This way you will write answer for this question. Suppose question number 3. The chemical formula of water is H2O. So suppose this way it is the the chemical formula of H water is H2O. Suppose this is the question. The chemical formula of water is H2O. Now you see the 2 is a little below than the H and O. So directly we cannot write uh, this way in computer because in computer keyboard we don't have this option. Okay. So we have to use some uh, command in HTML to write to little below or in subscript form this is called as subscript to write the uh, text in subscript form we'll use sub tag here you can see the chemical formula of water is h sub opening to sub closing then o here i have written to in between sub opening and sub closing that's why the two come here little below than h and o so this way you can use sub tag in html now we'll come to fourth question now suppose we have some uh, mathematical formulas x square plus y square sub plus x sub 2 sub plus y sub 2 sub close so suppose this is the question we have to write like this way x square plus y square to write this uh, answer you will write this command x sub opening opening to sub closing again plus y sub opening to 
sub closing so if you want to write anything in superscript form you will write that character or word in between as you p then it will come to little above than the rest characters so here you can see if you want to write this way then your command should be this one you have to write in between as you p now the third one is example of stripe tag suppose he is a stripe good strike close boy now whatever you will write inside strike that will be strike out in the output here you see he is a good boy here the good word is strike through because i have written the good in between strike so this is the example of strike tag now we'll come to question number 6 So here I will give give the example of a center tag. Suppose center. This is an example of center tag. See the output here. This is an example of center tag. This sentence is displayed at the center position of your browser window so whatever you will write in between center tag it will display at the center of your window in copy while you are writing the answer you will write at the center position of your page as i am shown you in the copy now question number 5 suppose I have to write uh, three fruits name in separate lines. Mango, apple, banana. Now see, I have written uh, three fruits name in three cent uh, line. Now let's see the output. But it display in just one line. So if I want to insert a new line in HTML what we have I have to do I have to add one tag that is br and br is empty tag so it doesn't have any closing so put br in its uh, word or character or sentence whatever then one new line will be added now we'll see its fruit name will be displayed in separate lines so this way and uh, come to another questions here question should be write the output of the following you will have the html command and you have to write the output suppose the first command is today is 15 then s u p t h s u p close june today is 15th june here th is written in between sup means superscript tag so th will come little above than 15 so let's see the output how it look reload the page so you will write the output this way today is 15th june i have uh, shown you in copy also uh, you can see how you should write this one in copy Now question number two. Suppose we have uh, you B, then you India. Again, you close B close is a big country. Then full stop. So this output here we have. the india word is written in between b and u so india wo word will be underlined and bold in output see here you see the india word is underlined and it is bold so in copy also we will write uh, write this way we will 
overwrite India and put a underline in there and rest of the character or word you will write as usual. Now question number 3 or 4. Suppose the, uh, here I am giving example of BR tag. Suppose here 1 BR 2 BR 3 and here go. Here you see 1 then BR 2 then BR and 3. This uh, three characters are written in this one line one two three but in between them I have put br and br after three I wrote the go in next line but in between three and go there is no br so how we'll write the output in output you will write first one then you will go to next line then you will write two after that again you will go to next line then you will write three then after 3 you will write go you will not go to next line because we don't have br in between so let's see how the output looks so the output will be this way 1 2 3 then go now let's come to another one suppose small red small close is small where again big elephant big close is big here you see I have written red within small tag and I have written elephant within big tag. So in the output, the red word will be little smaller than the other and the elephant word will be little bigger than the others. Let's have the output. So the output will be display. Oh, I think I didn't save the page. The output will be this way. You see the red is little smaller than the is and the elephant is little bigger than the where uh, where small where whatever so this way you can uh, while you are creating html page if you want to give some important to some word then you can use b tag or if you want to make some part smaller than other one you can use small tag now one more example of strike suppose cheating in exam is not good then strike habit and strike close sitting cheating in exam is not good habit so if you are cheating in exam that means you are cheating yourself you should try yourself if you didn't understand anything, you should ask your teachers, try to understand the topic because uh, while you are cheating the things, actually you are not learning anything. You are just cheating yourself. In long run, you will learn nothing. You will learn nothing. So here, I have written habit word inside strike. So in the output, the strike word will be strike through or cut through. So in output you will write this way, cheating in exam is not good habit. In habit you will put one or you will cut through it. So this way you will do this type of question in HTML. I am giving you some exercise. You will get the question in video only here only. Try to solve these questions yourself. You can send your answers to my WhatsApp number or you can send to my email if you want to know whether they are correct or not. See you in the next video. Till then take care and bye.